morning and welcome back to Karen Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is fitting and using um, the Toe Pro Elite towing cover. Um, we went for the Toe Pro Elite. It is a custom one to fit the model of Caravan. Um, we went for the Toe Pro Elite because of the thickness of it, but also because of the usability of it. Um, has the option to still access the front locker once it's fitted, as well as the front locker you can drop down uh, and still access your window. So if you're stopped over for a few hours and you want to sit in the caravan and that sort of thing, you don't have to take the whole cover off. Cover can be fitted by one person and that's how I'm going to demonstrate it today. Um, or you can fit it by two, but it really doesn't take a great deal of time to fit. So we'll go through fitting the specialised covers Toe Pro Elite. First thing you need to do, which is essential, is actually make sure the front of the caravan is clean of any dust and dirt um, and any bits that might get between the front cover and the caravan. And what I invariably do is just give it a quick going over before we put the front cover on with some waterless wash and wax. So start at the top, just give it a quick spray using one of the IKEA tea towels again for 25p, which are excellent cleaning cloths for the caravan. Give this a good clean down. So there we go, depending on how dirty it is, really determines how much you need to clean it. But you just want to make sure you've got nothing between the cover and the front of the caravan that's gonna scratch the caravan. So now we'll go into fitting the Tow Pro Elite. So we get it out the bag, and this is probably the most difficult bit really, is you don't want to be dragging it on the floor where possible. So we fold it up uh, and then roll it or fold it over so it goes into the bag. So we just kind of open it out like this and lay it on the front of the caravan. Like so. So it will fall back slightly. So. What we've got on this side, right down the full edge, is a zip. So if we undo this zip all the way down, and this kind of gives you like an awning rail channel. So what we then do is we drop that in, slide that up, let's just pull it across slightly, drop that in and slide it back up there. Hi Darcy, may you come to join me? No. Are you not helping Daddy? No, because I need this one small home. You need to what, sorry? Small home. Alright, so we've now got that zipped in. We'll just do it up a little bit, not all the way. So then we come across to the other side. And then fold that out. And the same thing, although we don't have a zip right the way down the end, what I tend to use, or what I tend to do is loosen off this zip here so loosen that zip off there and again this is where probably the extra help comes in um, if you do need it but you can do it by yourself so we literally just start feeding this in let's loosen this off again here just start feeding this in oh, this come out of the rail so start feeding that through So that's it in that side. So now, again, we can hold it up and take the zip. And zip that all the way up. But we won't tighten that off here. So basically just up to the top and put that cover over to stop it flapping. And then we do the same with this zip. Zip it all the way up to the top just put that cover over and stop it flapping. Now the crucial thing at this point is to get it kind of lined up and straight before you start strapping it up. Now, um, I normally go with the top of the window line, 
just about here. So I take this and give it a slide up there. So that's about there. And then I do the same on this side. Again, just take a step back just to make sure that's pretty level. Yeah, I think that's about right. Now in old towing covers, they used to have lots of these straps all the way down with lots of these things flapping around. All we've got now is an elasticated side. So all we need to do these is push the clip in, tuck that in and tuck that underneath. The same on this side, tuck that in and tuck that underneath like so. Make sure we're still up there. Now as you go around the edge, what you've got, I don't know how well you can see this, but basically you've got some little clips that just pull out, elasticated clips that just pull out and then clip underneath. You've got three of them each side and literally just clip underneath the edge of the caravan. So again, we have another one here, another one here and another one here. So then the final strap to put on basically is the one that goes underneath. Now that does, um, if you're not careful, inflict with your brake cable. Not that I believe it would be a major issue, but what I tend to do is just nip down underneath and just make sure that that actually goes over the top of the brake cable. So I just thread it over the top of the brake cable and not underneath, because when you pull it tight, if it goes underneath, it could actually restrict the brake cable. I think it's very unlikely, but I'm just taking that extra precaution. So we go here and we get hold of that, we pull it through, and that just clips it in underneath the A-frame. And that's it, that's it fitted. Um, wasn't too difficult, as you can see, I could do it by myself. Now, a couple of the features that I really, really like, obviously here, and here you've got lens covers on there so you can use your position lights so when you're towing your position lights are still on. Um, I have seen other caravans or other covers that have like little LED ones that you stick on there but I really like the fact that this is specific for this caravan. You've also got some little zips for your grab handles so you can still get your grab handles in there on this side and then one the other side. So grab handles in there, and you can get hold of your grab handles. The other thing I really, really like about this is to make sure I've got the caravan keys handy. Yep. The other thing that I really like about this is being able to access the front locker. So basically we zip it up to about the grab handle that side. We zip it up to about the grab handle that side. We lift that out of the way, open the front of the caravan. And as you can see, we have now full access to the front locker. Excuse the junk, I don't normally travel like that. I've just shoved lots of things in there out of the way for the moment. So we've got full access to the front locker. And again, if you want to just close that down. Lock that away. And then zip that back up. All of the zips have a little Velcro flat which cover over to stop the zips flapping around and catching your bodywork, all those sorts of things. So we put that down there and zip that in. So the only other thing really to show you or add to now is the windows, to using the windows when it's open. So in your bag comes a little bit of extra bits like an elasticated strap and some Velcro straps. So I'll show you right now what to do with that. So what we do with this, is we undo that clip again, like so. Undo the zip, pull it down about to the same point again, yep, on the handles. Undo that there, pull it down to the same point again on the handles. And just for the moment, just let that drop back. So we'll just let that drop back like that and just try and get it about equal. So, but before we do anything else, what we have is we have this long um, elasticated strap, which, you know, these bits for the switches, we basically put that on there. Not switches, sorry, for the um, 
and then basically the zip sorry and put that on there so that's just a strap to go across the top that just keeps that nice then we have these two uh, or we have these velcro straps there's actually three of them um, and the idea with these if i remember rightly is we basically fold stick that on there and literally fold stick that on there fold and stick that on there and fold that as well so you've basically got now full access to your front windows so if you've stopped up for the day uh, or stopped up for a few hours or like us when we're traveling to the south of france rather than having to take the towing cover totally off um, every night we normally take three or four days to travel down to the south of france so it's handy just to have this um, to be able to do this every day again just to take that back off put that back on you got your velcro strips remember to put those away for safekeeping just leave that to lay down like that and we can put that back in the bag your elasticated strap from the top just take that off so that's your elasticated strap from the top drop that in there we've got a bit of dust in here i have on occasion actually when we've been using this before we've used this a lot we've used this an awful lot we don't even tow without it um, but on occasion i have taken it into the lounge um, and basically used the hoover on it so i've run the hoover um, over the inside of it just a handheld hoover it just gets any grime and dust and muck and things off um, and you do get dirt and things on the outside and again invariably just soapy water again either when it's on the caravan or um, or just lay it out in the house wash it down with soapy water let it dry um, let it dry and then basically fold it away again the only major issues I have with this in fact I'll come back to the major issues but I love it it's great the, the material is really really thick um, it certainly is got some sort of impact resistance um, so it's not like one of the cloth ones it's got very very soft material on the inside so it certainly won't scrape and scratch the inside of the caravan it fits snugly it fits really really nice the only big issues I tend to have is if we've been towing and it's really wet and we get on site and it's wet now I have a couple of options. If it's not raining, I tend to lie it over the bonnet of the car um, where a bit of sunshine um, will hopefully dry it off, that sort of stuff. Or if we have got an awning up, spread it over a couple of chairs on the awning, wait till it dries. You don't want to pack it away wet and you certainly don't want that inside face wet either. But that's it. We love it. We don't tow without it. There are other um, covers available. What we'll do is we'll put a link in the comments below to the specialised covers. Um, you basically select your caravan. Like we've got a Swift Accord, uh, which is a dealer special from MG Caravans, but it's actually a Sprite Quattro DD. Um, so all we've done is given the dealer the details of the Sprite Quattro DD and they basically sent us a cover. We ordered it, I think it took about two weeks to come. Uh, the service was great and we fitted it and towed with it. So specialised covers, big thumbs up from us. We've been using them a while now. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. I hope you found that useful. Um, please comment below and let us know what you thought um, or if you've had any experience on towing covers. So again, if you wouldn't mind supporting the channel, your support is greatly appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're already a subscriber, brilliant. Thank you very much and thanks for joining us along the way for the journey. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell notification. That will notify you when we're putting out any new vlogs. So another one from Caravan Escapades. Thank you very much for watching. You stay safe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.